Breaking it down with Miss Bell. First day of the national championships, so much fun. Uh, we got to start on vault, which was great. And uh, I just have to give another shout out to Nia Dennis. I think I've done this a lot since we've put her first on vault. But her enthusiasm for competing just ignites us. And her vault is really, really good. We feel that she could probably score a little bit higher if she went later in the lineup. But we talked about this in the locker room and just the importance of her starting us off on that event with such exuberance. She's just, she's like a little kid when she, she prepares for it and when she runs back. It's infectious with the team and that is worth so much for us. So um, started off on vault and um, we're, we did really well as Jordan Weber pointed out. Uh, afterwards when we were waiting to rotate to the next event she's like yes we didn't suck on our first event so we've passed that like we're so far beyond that now that we feel very good about ourselves uh, we went to the buy and locker room I go by the locker room a lot just to kind of feel the vibe and make sure that they're still staying connected I've never had a team that was this connected literally a hundred percent of the time it's really a very easy and magical team in that sense. Um, went to bars, and while the student athletes felt great about what they did on bars, I spoke with Chris about it. He felt they played a little bit tight as well, as, as I, I felt we did as well. Um, but, you know, that's okay. It's okay to kind of feel that out <clears throat> this first day. Uh, went to Balance Beam, and they just... They are so proud of their beam team that they bring it every single time. And it's a very organic feeling for them. I'll hear throughout the day in the gym, God, I love my beam team. And I was telling Chris, Randy, and Joe that I think one reason why they have that real connectedness and pride on Balance Beam is because there's a lot of times that I'm not over there during the day. I'm doing other stuff in the gym. I'm taking care of business stuff or floor stuff. And they have to rely on each other. And you don't need a spot over there, so it's not like bars where you need a coach there. And they really do rely on each other a lot on that, totally on that event. Um, so that's really fun as a coach to see. You know, after I give them my little pep talk, they huddle up together. And they're just such a tight sisterhood on that event. That was exciting. Um, I felt for the first time it was the best routine that uh, uh, Madison Koshin's done all year. She finally just released it. She promised me she was gonna do that and she did. And I wanna give a shout out to Brielle. Um, it's her first time competing in a national championship. And for her to go up there and compete so well, but also she added a little shimmy and a little smirk, which once again, just ignited her team and fused them with this, this sense of, of glow. Uh, and then we went to floor and just had a floor party like we normally do. Um, Breaking it down with Jordan after floor, we felt that they were a bit hesitant with landing on their floor, their landings, just knocking it in and, and knowing they're going to do well and then owning it and not waiting to see if they're going to stumble or if they're going to go out of bounds or not. Just own it. You know, they're, they're at the point now where there's, they can hit one re great routine after another without worrying about how good it's going to be. Um, I want, it's really exciting when we were in the locker room on a bye, we realized that there were six uh, athletes on our team who've never competed before at a national championship. And so that was super fun, especially because they did so well. And then we had the athlete from um, Arizona State, Cairo, who'd never competed as well. So there's seven of us in our, in our huddle that had never competed in this arena before. And they did so well, so much fun. Um, it's exciting to see that we've got three athletes, uh, ranked number one right now, uh, Pang on beam, Kyla on bars, uh, Caitlin on floor, and Kyla in the all-around. And, you know, I am very confident that the scores will stay, that the judging will, will stay um, respectful. That's not the word. Uh, the judging will stay consistent. And I know there's a lot of great athletes in this second session. I just hope that if any one of those athletes gets knocked off, it's for an obvious reason. Um, and as like I told Pang, uh, you know, if she is not the balance being champion after this evening's session, it doesn't tarnish her legacy and what she has left to this sport. 
um, in any way, shape, or form. So super excited. We got out healthy, which is always super important. And um, I like being in the first session because it gives us more of an opportunity to rest and heal. And we're really excited to go in tomorrow and have one last party with this team.